we'll be experimenting with few things, not just one. Uh, both content and form and infrastructure. Uh, and some of these things are going to fail, uh, but we still want to take risks and then see what makes sense to do in the future. It's not standalone single workshop, it's, it's a part of a research and method that we are trying to develop uh, in Croatia. We have a small team who has been working together more or less six months in different constellations in a tiny project, but we think maybe we are up to something that's maybe new. Uh, so thank you again. Some people will be maybe coming late because uh, they are still checking in to the hotel. Uh, we'll, we'll try with the uh, most basic things, um, introducing each other by name, and if you can say something super brief why you choose this workshop, like one sentence or two, that would be great. Um, and if you keep uh, the focus around the circle, I think uh, it, it will be more productive for us. If you have to say something uh, to each other, please be as quiet as possible because we also need to have a uh, sound for the online people if they ever show up. Uh, ah, okay, at least one. Hi. <laughs> and, and for the recording, which will stay after all of this. So, my colleague Petra. Hi, I'm Petra. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I look like underneath the mask. Um, We're not masked. Yes. Um, and me, we are part of a team that is now five people, not six people. We started uh, from uh, a tiny project that was conceived as a first attempt to do glam work in Croatia as a, as a group work. Uh, previously, there was nothing really organized for a decade. Um, the only glam work uh, that I did two years ago was one-on-one -on -one with, with a single institution and with a single me as a Wikimedia residence. Uh, so it was experimental uh, project and uh, Petra joined, I think, only four months ago? I think it's been a while now. I think it was June, May, uh, April, yeah. April, yeah. April, 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 okay. April, time flies. <laughs> so, uh, do you want to start uh, saying something about yourself? Uh, yeah, I can say, so I'm the latest addition to this project, and I came as a learner. I'm a physiologist and researcher, and also I work as an artist. I'm based in Zagreb, and um, I was interested because I love learning things. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm formally a uh, media artist and educator. Uh, I'm formally, but professionally, I'm a cultural manager and doing stuff uh, around queer activism. And my interest uh, for doing stuff with Wikimedia came come from interest in wikis, not in encyclopedia. I was part of the founding team of Wikimedia Institute, and 20 years ago when Wikipedia was starting, we were already running a, a farm of wikis for NGOs in, in Croatia. So I'm kind of starting totally opposite of what other people start. Like I already did beautiful wikis and did NGO sector. So this project is a little bit flashback because, um, yeah, Wikimedia has totally different relation with civil sector, civil society. Um, okay. Uh, if you don't mind, I will try to map also your names and motivations, and you will help me with the spellings and things like this. <laughs> My name is Bulein. Bulein. Yeah. No, but the person that I built the the. No, 
specifically on uh, partnerships with GLAM organizations. So I'm here to hear and to learn and to... And I'm also very much interested in what's there in the parentheses, so to say, in the non-institutional side of it. I am, I, I am a social anthropologist and I, am, uh, I have worked a lot I have curated for the last eight years the Athens Ethnographic Film Festival, which is a non-institutional at all cultural organization. And this has brought me also in contact with several other civil society organizations in Greece and abroad. And I would be, this is something I haven't seen a lot, and it's something that I am all ears to hear. <laughs> you have to Hi everyone, my name is Mehdad. Uh, I work for the foundation. Also, just bouncing on what you said, I think there's a lot we can do with improving our partnerships uh, on a global scale with all kinds of institutions. And then I'm here because I want to learn more about the part, because I think there's a lot we can do with cataloging, supporting GLAM institutions, but I think we don't always hit the mark. So I'd love to see where we can do it. Um, hello, I am uh, Daria. Uh, I'm from Poland originally, but I work at Wikimedia UK in partnerships programs. And my motivation here is that whenever I'm in a room with Jellico, I learn something new. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I decided to come. So I hear something <laughs> unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> that can go all ways. <laughs> yes, I am Tony. The O and I, and um, I uh, uh, work with uh, Wikimedia Community Malta, which is a user group that has existed uh, for seven years now. Uh, but uh, I have been uh, Wikimedia significantly longer than that. I think twelve years now, or something like this. But uh, I am here because, well, this is a subject that is interesting uh, in, in broad terms, but also I want to see what the specific approach. Uh, maybe so. I'm, I'm here because I'm curious. <laughs> yeah, I'm en Enrique uh, from Wikimanta as well. Uh -huh. Enrique. <laughs> and uh, yes, as well, um, uh, I work with Tony and I'm curious about uh, what you, why it's no glam. So I'm curious um, uh, because I work mostly in with. Wikimedia uh, with subjects like art and feminism and things like that. And I also doing like a research um, about collections and the approach to them and how you can um, collect and curate on Wikidata and visualize and things like that. So I'm really curious to see uh, more than what's about to do. Hi, I'm Andre. Um, I'm here because I was uh, interested in the non-institutional part of the project. Yeah. Um, hello everyone, uh, my name is Gorana and I'm the manager at Wikimedia Serbia. So we mostly do have cooperation with cultural institutions, so I want to hear about new approach. So let's, let's see what, what's going on here. <laughs> uh, hi, my name is Valentina, I'm from Guam, Serbia. I'm a teacher. And, um, uh, I'm here because I, uh, uh, 
accept uh, learn something new. Hi, uh, I'm Aida. Uh, I work also at the foundation in the movement strategy and governance team, uh, and I've been in touch with Z previously. And like we were thinking of how to um, actually, Z was uh, proposing how to um, kind of incorporate the discussions here to the forum. And there is a uh, shared sh edit plugin now on the forum, on the MS forum. Uh, and yeah, my laptop is there, but if you want, like, feel free to go there and um, add your notes. But uh, I'm very interested also about the non-institutional partnership and working with like activists in different areas. Like specifically in Central Asia, there is like um, a lot of activism going on, and but a lot of them don't really know about like media and um, yeah, sharing information and knowledge. So I would be curious how that would also fit in there. Hi, uh, I'm Gergő from Hungary. Can I see your name, sorry? Gergő, G-E-R-G-O. G-E-R-G-O. Oh. Mm. Oh, yes. yes. Uh, I'm mainly interested in the technical aspects. I was involved in setting up the movement strategy forum, and I'm interested in how well it can be used to support real-time collaboration. I'm interested in real-time collaboration and chat in general, various tools and also a little in the non-profit aspect. In, in Wikimedia Hungary, we wanted for a long time to get in touch with the non-profit sector, but haven't gotten around to it yet. My name is Ziski. I'm on the Foundation's Global Advocacy Team. And I'm here much like Aida because I'm really interested in what kind of techniques and partnership uh, approaches we can use to engage more activist groups as well as other civil society organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, our non-takers are, can you tell your names? Hello, my name is Lisa and I have been volunteering in Wikimedia for about four years. Uh, I'm Elena and I'm volunteering in Guam Macedonia for two years. Um, I'm 23, 23 years old, I am a law student, mm -hmm. and I'm interested in the UK. Super. Yes. It's, it's amazing to have a note takers that have more experience than some of the <laughs> workshop <laughs> leaders. Yes. But uh, uh, this is also the fun of uh, working in Wikimedia, where things can also be uh, asymmetrical in different ways. Uh, yeah. We didn't plan a lot this uh, uh, workshop, like we have some content that we can show you, we have some our own issues, struggles with doing stuff in this field. Um, I'm kind of happy uh, with the numbers, but I would, we just did a round of names. Can you just tell us your names and why you decided to show up? And if you want, uh, you can also join the circles. So yeah, yeah, so we can see see it. It. <laughs> I'm a female from Hungary. I'm a board member of the Hungarian chapter. I've been at Wikipedia for 17 years. I mainly edit articles if I have time. Um, but I'm also doing some organization article, writing competitions, things like that. And I'm also interested in GLAM. And I'm Yulia from Wikimedia Poland. Sorry, could you say your name? Yulia. Yulia, okay. And uh, I did three articles, I'm now on the board, but I also did, uh, I started the first one project in Poland. Oh, brilliant. Where was this? How many years? Um, seven years. Yeah. Seven years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, the, the little introduction you missed is not much. Uh, I was just saying that we are super new as a project and because we come from totally different background of than average uh, lab people, or we think so, we might have been doing something either wrong or, or good in different way, we'll see. Uh, maybe both. Um, my motivation to start this project was uh, as someone who has left the uh, Croatian cultural field and moved uh, to Western Europe when I was coming back to do stuff on, on Wikimedia also, I first wanted to, to work with people who had the least presence and the least voice in Croatian Wikipedia. It was still controlled by 
at least radical nationalists, if not worse. <laughs> Uh, but kind of uh, six months later, the situation got a little bit better, uh, so they stopped deleting my announcements for workshops. Uh, and we started doing uh, work that was, uh, for the first time, outreach and education work, which was not done before. Um, uh, because I was working on uh, queer feminist topics, in the cultural field I felt Going bottom down means working with, with uh, civil society organizations. I felt GLAM was super well covered uh, in Wikimedia anyway. I felt for the most times uh, there, were, there were a lot of um, examples of good practices. There were a lot of uh, people who were experts in this. But then when I wanted to do stuff bottom up, very, very few were. I know Art and Feminism did a little bit and few other initiatives did a little bit grassroots cultures, but everyone was uh, doing this as an exception, not as a continuous work. There was no documentation and there was no method. And for me, uh, as someone who likes to develop methods and experiment with them, this was uh, the challenge. So I proposed to the network of Croatian non-institutional cultural insti organizations and art organizations that is called Klapcher, that is also like Wikipedia celebrating 20 years this year, that I was kind of super involved at the very beginning. I even named the network that way, but never really was active. I just was good with naming stuff. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um, I was kind of um, uh, interested, okay, let's do something that you would not normally do, like not celebrate with, with a cake, Let's do something with, that would make uh, your presence more sustainable and visible because as, as an infrastructure for other organizations, they were amazing. I mean, they, they supported so many tiny organizations, small art initiatives, uh, independent cultural groups to rise from being informal to get to do first projects, to get to share these projects maybe even to organize an NGOs, maybe to fail. Some, some organizations disappeared also, uh, but they were given the first money in a super generous way. There was participatory process in which all the organizations who were submitting proposals were joining. They would vote what would be priority projects for that year, and they would get small grants. Maybe something that Wikimedia Foundation could learn from grassroots uh, cultural organizations. Um, and I felt, okay, they supported my Wikimedia work when Wikipedia, Wikimedia Foundation said we are not going to do anything. I did workshops in Croatia because I was not dependent of Wikimedia Foundation. And uh, yeah, I proposed, let's do something for six months. It might fail, but there is one person who is uh, your previous archivist, documentarist, there is one person who uh, worked uh, in uh, libraries who was interested in this kind of work as Wikipedia. So that could be like the core of the group. There was a new coordinator who was kind of interested, didn't know what we were doing, but she was curious. And one art historian. Um, so we thought, okay, this is a good set of uh, people, like everyone knows something, no one knows everything, we will just see what happens and we'll meet once a week and I will try to do technical stuff, if you can do content stuff and learn techniques, maybe this, this kind of starts working. And maybe Petra, as, as a person who joined, started almost from, yeah, you did one. Wikipedia page before. Yes, I, I did one Wikipedia page, I think, in 2016 when I was volunteering for an NGO. And they didn't know much about Wikipedia, but they said, make us a Wikipedia page. So I made it. But I didn't know, I, I really didn't know, I, I still don't know a lot of, uh, a lot of Wiki, Wiki manners. So for example, I don't know where, I didn't know where my messages were or that when somebody writes to you something that you should reply or you should change something. So actually this, uh, this uh, added to my uh, bad reputation on uh, Wikipedia <laughs> because because I did I, I had a little bit of experience because I yeah like I, I could write an article mm -hmm. but not a good article. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, we went through learning basics. Yeah. Sorry for interrupting. I just wanted to ask if it's known that the BBB uh, is not working. Or is it not working? Yeah, I, I think there is some sort of permission issue. Like, uh, we need to make it open to users. And also, if there is a technical person who wants to have this uh, beautiful projection <laughs> <laughs> with the skills, uh, it would be appreciated. <laughs> Sure. Because it was turning that way, so uh, you can see now, but it's not beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the thing is that it's moving so. 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 It's so. <laughs> okay. Gilbert, can you try this? Uh, for me, it's not a problem, is it? No, I think it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. 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 <laughs> then if you can see. Um, Maybe. <laughs> Maybe you can animate it the whole time. So it's like. <laughs> ah, there is one waiting user. The loud for Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay, one I person joined. <laughs> for me? Ah. Was there anyone asking for <laughs> it? It seems that session is open, but for other people. I try and defend those on the table. I think it's one person. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I, I think you need to, to share the joining and some of the session for okay. yeah. okay. Um, okay, maybe we can get new people who enter to say who they are and how come they don't, uh, because we, we did this with everyone else. <laughs> and please sit in the circle. Yes. <laughs> Change to always accept, so everyone should be able to. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm I'm from Poland, and yes, yes, please. <laughs> yeah, I'm here to learn something about glam and no. topics around <laughs> uh, in place of my colleague from uh, Polish Wikimedia who couldn't uh, come here. <laughs> Okay, my name is Olesa and I'm project manager for the last years. And yeah, I'm here like uh, generally in the community community like for three months, I guess only. So yes. I'm really glad to uh, get to know new information and uh, about all these topics. Thank you. Can I see Yeah, so I'll, I'll flip through some of the slides. Uh, yeah, so we had like opportunity to do something for 20 years that network uh, could maybe appreciate and make it more uh, visible, sustainable in the media space. We were meeting almost exclusively at Zoom. I think we had one yes, in one physical one. meeting uh, all the time, which was not fun, but yeah, it was kind of <laughs> established norm we meet on, on Wednesdays. Uh, this, as I said before, uh, uh, Club Chair Network was generous to support uh, my work and work of queer feminist uh, groups in the pandemic years. So for two years we were doing stuff when other people were not, be, not uh, funded or not supported. So this was kind of a little bit a weird situation that a small Croatian network was supporting Wikimedia work when others were <laughs> doing it. So, yeah, our specific goals were uh, to, to raise this kind of level of uh, visibility. Uh, we were basically pitching it to the network and to the organizations. Okay, you can spend all the money you have on Facebook ads, on Instagram posts, on Twitter, but what is actually sustainable, you do once and you are present, is do stuff in Wikidata, and if you have really good content, we can do uh, comments with media and we can do Wikipedia articles uh, if we get lucky. 
Uh, yeah, we didn't have much resources. We basically worked with Flutter Archive, which was only web archive. They digitized what they had. It was not like a professional archive. It was a small NGO doing what they could when they had time and when they had money. So there was like a lot of precarity uh, in all of their existence. Uh, we used exclusively Wikimedia infrastructure and Zoom uh, account from, from Flutter. Uh, so we used uh, Wikimedia chat like no other <laughs> project, I guess, is using uh, uh, constantly. Um, and if you go to Wikimedia chat and, and uh, join the Glam channel, uh, you will see our contacts and just few other people. Um, we, yeah, we used the smallest possible grant because we also didn't have capacity to apply for more. We just did uh, this rapid grant for $5,000. And yeah, uh, we hope that this becomes bigger work as we became a little bit of a team and we have some experience of working together uh, in the future. Yes, uh, so plan was to, to expand this idea that everyone knows just Wikipedia. Everyone heard of Wikimedia through my uh, work in 2019. Uh, proposal 2020. Uh, we introduced Wikidata, which is super bizarre, like uh, author of Wikidata is Croatian, who is super proud to come from Croatia, and then almost no one in Croatia uses Wikidata or gives education or anything like this. It's like a typical uh, paradox for, for this uh, context. Uh, we, have, we, of course, did commons. Some organizations already had photos of commons because they were sometimes involved with some Wikimedians or someone who did something on Wikipedia. So we found few photographs already there. None of the organizations had any galleries. There were almost no categories. So we had to kind of find our way and do things from scratch. I was literally trying to find information through this uh, shoot me uh, uh, geographically locating photos that were around, thinking maybe I found something, and I did find something. And then we started experimenting also with Wiki Voyage. We thought it's something uh, of a more flexible wiki, so people who were challenged by the rigor of, of Wikipedia, they could do more freely stuff on, on Wiki Voyage. And uh, actually, the, the project we started loving the most is Wikispore. <laughs> we hope it starts loving us back. As you can see, I'm advertising since one year Wikispore, uh, where I initiated a, a spore dedicated to civil society. So the, the organizations that couldn't match the criteria to be um, mature enough, prominent, visible enough for Wikipedia, we would put in, in a wiki sport. I mean, there are some that could be Wikipedia articles, but not just yet because we didn't get around. And uh, short side articles. Yeah, then we also saw that aside from doing uh, bottom up work, we also had to do a little bit of fine threading and connect general articles about culture with our interests because there were no general articles about phenomena like street art, graffiti, zines, like m most of these grassroots culture phenomena were not covered. Petra was translating article oh. on community. Yeah, yeah, not only the community, but I, at, at one point I wanted to link the, uh, the article for collaboration and the only collaboration, I think this is the heritage of the long uh, creation Wikipedia problem, was a collaboration with the Nazi states in the World War. This was the only collaboration that was known in creation Wikipedia, so we had, to, we had to translate it and make it. There was no article for community and so on, but we will talk about this. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, so we had we had kind of weird situation like my organization, Multimedia Institute, was pioneer one of the pioneers of Creative Commons. We were hosting High Summit in 2007 in Dubrovnik, mm -hmm. and there were like no articles about Creative Commons. Like there was like a tiny uh, paragraph on, on licenses. Um, so yeah, we we made some requests uh, to all the organizations. 
there are there is a member uh, network of like 50 organizations. Some were joining and dropping off from the network. We insisted they at least have a logo, at least have basic information filled in, so we can do Wikidata entries for them. Uh, because they already did at least one project through Culture Network, we knew that they had at least one press release in their media clipping, and there was at least one uh, like uh, report of their work on the Culture website. We still didn't go to the, to the process to kind of register Clubture database as authority uh, source, but we will probably have to do it sometime soon. Uh, it was uh, kind of uh, weird to, to explain people CC licenses again 20 years later, but we had to do because it was totally another generation of people who, who were doing this. The luck we had was like three, four websites in Croatia in this sector already use Creative Commons licenses so we can piggyback on their photo uh, use. Yeah, we were offering to, to do inputs in these media systems. We would say we are not going to do your Wikipedia page. They could not like just send us information and we do stuff for them. This was no uh, clearly. Uh, Yes. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, so maybe now is the time um, to ask you, actually before we share what, what we learned, uh, maybe uh, I would like to ask you what, what would you expect that would be the problems of a person encountering Wikimedia ecosystem for the first time? This is one as a, question. As a cultural yes, as a, okay, as a cultural professional. Oh, yes. Yeah, working in culture. Okay, yes. Uh, and the second, <laughs> and the second question would be, uh, what uh, what problems would you expect working with an ecosystem of small organizations in a small country such as Croatia? Uh, I, I I think you come from s some similar context, so you can imagine what the cultural scenes are like, and we probably share a lot of similar problems. So maybe if you can think about it, maybe you can write on the internet. Maybe we can talk, and I can map also. Uh, so we made a post-it, uh, post-its kind of color-coded. If you have a negative experience, you can use the red one. If you have positive experience of doing something uh, with small organizations, uh, green one. If it's mixed, the yellow one. And if you have very specific wishes that, that need to be fulfilled, use the blue one as like the future oriented. Or if you prefer, prefer to just talk, you can also talk. <laughs> yeah. So however you are comfortable. Um, who wants a post it? Okay. So, um, can, I'll take this. Uh, yeah, you can, you can actually come and say. Uh, I want the red one and the yellow one. Uh-huh. But but maybe maybe um, who else wants to post it? Uh, no. Which ones? Uh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe it's set. Uh, yeah, I, I'm I'm bad with color coding, so uh, <laughs> yes, mixed experience, positive, negative. Let's do positive. Positive and negative. Okay, positive. Okay, so this is a full set. You don't have to say it once, you just start thinking. If you really like it, you can pick up. You also want the name of the organization or just what? Uh, you whatever you're comfortable, comfortable sharing, okay. yes. Uh, and also, do we have people in line? Uh, See? Not really. Not really? Okay. I mean, except Gergo, who is here in the presence. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have the double presence, that's okay. <laughs> we had few American people who apologize because the time is not um, easy for the West Coast. But, uh, okay. Do you want to have one? We can also do it together with someone. I think they don't realize that they are working on it. Okay. Well. Yeah, but maybe maybe I can ask you what would you expect that um, would be the problems when you are first for the first time trying to engage in the Wikipedia Wikimedia ecosystem? Maybe who is here 
for three months. <laughs> but let's say maybe you can share a little bit, like how, how it works for you. I think we have maybe similar experiences. So maybe I'm going too local, but I think if, uh, if you are there for the first time, you may even have the issues with understanding of the copyrights, for example. Because my first idea was this, and I started to be engaged very young, that uh, it is more related to commercial usage of photo mm -hmm. instead of uh, simply acknowledging copyright. So then you would have in your organization, let's say, a bunch of materials which you can share, which is basically common in a way. But if you are not unable to actually uh, uh, give the full credits to the exact specific person, you may have troubles. Okay, thank you. Uh, anyone else? Any? Any ideas? Even Wikidata was too rigid mm -hmm. for what they had. So it's a tension because they want to collaborate, and then we realize that their knowledge is not appropriate for Wikipedia. In the technical also sense. Technical, but also like a notability, yeah. granularity. Like they're totally. But, but I'm saying both. Right? You would think that you Wikidata, think that. but once you go really community-based, their knowledge can be very um, specialized. Zines, they are not officially published, mm -hmm. so it's not official secondary uh, sources. And then it's hard to find a way of publishing, uh, of sharing the knowledge on Wikipedia. I can try to explain to you later. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so from my experience in working with uh, GLAM institutions, uh, it's usually difficult to get uh, the people involved in the Wikimedia movement because they're employed there and they expect to earn some money for their work that they will have to do uh, for the Wikimedia projects. Uh, most of these uh, GLAM institutions have been uh, uh, also public institutions, so some government institutions which uh, uh, operate in a quite uh, conservative style, mm -hmm. so there are not so many innovations and changes in the past. So one of the things that uh, I would like to uh, learn is uh, how this goes with, when working with uh, privately owned uh, GLAM institutions, because I suppose that they're more prone to innovations and some other methods of work. Because uh, working with public institutions uh, has been uh, too much of a burden and uh, uh, eventually to no avail. So you just uh, you just uh, start. You, you clearly explain what's your intent. That uh, they would even uh, uh, ease their work. Uh, they have to be the institution. For example, if they digitize some materials or if they implement a system which is uh, uh, aligned with the Wikimedia project, if they introduce Wikidata as a, a useful tool uh, in their work. But at the end, uh, they're simply not interested. So the thing is that uh, we need to draw the line and to compare how different are the private, uh, non-institutional GLAM institutions, GLAM organizations, let's uh, be more precise, compared to the uh, institutional GLAM organizations. I had a situation where uh, it was a little bit bizarre because I was talking to art historian with whom I would think is a natural ally, like uh, because uh, she did a lot of research on monuments, and she could have published, and she did publish in some way for her PhD this this uh, database on a CD. It was available, 
but when I wanted to upload it uh, in, in Wikimedia, she said, yeah, yeah, it's available, like you could do it, but if you really want to do it and help me, like wait for me to establish some kind of, you know, academic way to make use of that opportunity. And I thought, okay, like I don't mind waiting for three months or six months, but then like a year and a half <coughs> later, you still wait for someone who is an academic, because for them this is a precious moment where if they release something in the open, it needs to be like something that benefits academic career that they could, I mean, it's, it's stupid to say monetize because there's mon no money involved, but for them to keep the visibility of their work and, and get extra points for, for next uh, job upgrade, whatever, it's essential that this is like a tiny spectacle or, or a tiny you know, publication that they can be referenced as, as a step. And Wikimedia doesn't provide this. Like, you just like dumping stuff into, you know, some open source, open content uh, pile of other stuff is not something that's sexy to, to academic. And we, as an ecosystem, kind of didn't provide anything <laughs> to, to make this more. I mean, there are open publications that could maybe be used for this, but it's not easy and, and simple system. Yeah. Um, I wanted to make a comment about this. For example, we at Wikimedia Serbia, we had a cooperation with small institutions, private, public ones. So from our experience, for example, smaller institutions are more willing to cooperate, are more willing to participate, but they don't have capacities, yeah. they don't have resources. But for example, for private institutions, we have some amazing cooperation with some private museum and library, and they would like to share everything, but they don't have capacity. Mm -hmm. So I think resources are the biggest trouble here. Mm -hmm. if, I, if I can expand a little bit on this, mm -hmm. like what I was actually talking about, maybe it's related to this issue where you are having a really absence of knowledge in some cases. Like I'm talking about case from Croatia, which we had, which I noticed very late, unfortunately, but there was like union of Roma community in Croatia. Somebody from organization was adding all of their material on Wikipedia. There was no one to actually try to, okay, stop. We have those rules, you cannot add it maybe in that way, but let's talk to you. Let's try to do maybe what you want. And this is historically, you know, oppressed community. Later on, I tried to contact them again. They were not willing anymore to work. We really lost something important there. They were willing to share a bunch of information, you know. For the simple reason that we were too rigid to actually <coughs> engage, something talk, like yeah, let, let's, you know, guide you how to do this, not just delete it right away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But do you think it would work in it the would, end? They were really motivated to do something about this. I noticed the entire thing maybe three months later when I tried to contact, you know, person who tried to improve it. They were not there anymore. No. no, the doors is closed. It works if you're in, in the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. And if you're willing to put on the effort, mm -hmm. there are three conditions. Somebody is willing to put up the effort, and they actually see it not three months later. Yeah. So you basically have to be on Wiki all the time. Or sometimes you get lucky, and they actually find a way to contact you. We've had somebody yeah, write to the, the, the VR or whatever it's called these days, to all the old TRS and ask for help. And we realized they were doing very cool stuff that we didn't know anything about it. We didn't realize it, it was happening on Wiki because they were doing it the right way. They just needed a little bit of help, you know? And we were lucky, but some people just don't find that email. They don't find that one. We had similar situation. Remember the article about uh, art activism in Croatia in the 90s? So we had... Uh, informal school of art criticism that was using uh, Wikipedia as one of the outputs for I think maybe one or two generations. And of course they didn't know much and it was maybe a decade ago. So they were writing essays. They were like a little bit too arty and a little bit too unreadable for, for non-professional audience. But you could still fix them. It's not impossible to fix them. They were just like miscategorized and like a little bit subjective, overly expressive and all of these things. But there was no one to say, hey, we'll catch what you are throwing and we'll do something and let's do something together. Instead, 
uh, they got frustrated with Wikipedia. There was only one person who was uploading for the whole group of like 20 students. Imagine if we kept 20 students, uh, at least five to, to continue writing in tiny Wikipedia. It makes huge difference for, 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 for like uh, continuous work. And, and there were similar situations, like there was art history uh, teacher who was doing this at philosophical faculty for a few generations. They even won a rector's award for, for doing this with Wikipedia. And now that I see those articles, I see, okay, they are not amazing articles. That, like, you would not be the article of any of them, would not be article of the week. But they were source materials, really well referenced. And if you would fix them, in like half an hour each, they would all stay around and people would feel, okay, we learned something new and we can continue contributing. This way they just like went through the, like a single phase. Okay, we tried Wikipedia, wasn't really working, next thing. Yeah, I think it's another very important thing, another very important uh, topic, uh, but uh, I don't know how it's on topic uh, with regards to this uh, workshop. Uh, having uh, content on a specific uh, topic that uh, may not meet uh, uh, the criteria for a standalone article uh, are common in most Wikipedias. And uh, the problem is uh, on both sides. On the one side, how uh, much insist on having a separate article about a particular topic. And the other thing is uh, how strong is the rebuke by the community trying to uh, remove that content from Wikipedia. Because in most cases, at least on English Wikipedia, uh, users are guided to uh, move that content to another more general article where it can uh, fit much better than uh, staying in a standalone article. Mm. I know this is not the way uh, that uh, most Wikipedias uh, uh, act in similar cases, but uh, the thing is that you need to have a good system so that you don't uh, uh, send a strong message to users so that uh, they never come back. The thing is that you respect uh, what people want to do in Wikipedia, because at the end they also want to contribute to something, to the sum of free knowledge. And you need to find the best way to, to facilitate it. Mm. Can I? Um, I didn't write slides? this in the. Sorry. Do you want to use slides? Uh, yes, yes, soon. Uh, but I just want to say that this is actually something that we started using in our process. Was that a lot of our articles were not good enough, or were not uh, encyclopedic enough, or not simple enough? So we actually started sending them to each other. So after one person would write it, and then it would get flagged for deletion as soon as possible. Then we would first advocate. Uh, <laughs> Not deleting it, but also edit, 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 and use like the second pair of eyes, the third pair of eyes to actually make it better for a Wikipedia system. Uh, but do should we should we read a little bit of what okay. is written? Maybe yeah. do you want to do it? Uh, so, is anyone wanting to read their own? Uh, I noticed we didn't get a single wish. So uh, <laughs> that's for later. <laughs> Uh, if you have any wishes, this is the blue one. Uh -huh. Sh should we go with the red ones first? Yes, let's go with the bad stuff. Um, okay, so afraid to share their collection even if it is open for the public. Uh, if, if someone wants to explain what uh, this is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, most uh, collections that we were trying to engage with, they were always afraid. So then we were trying the other way around by asking them, can we access your collection? And they were okay. And when they see what <coughs> we can do on Wikipedia or Wikidata or uh, even Commons, um, they were like, ah, okay, it's interesting. And they were scared that, you know, if sharing even images, especially if the collection is like of paintings, um, that someone can use it, you know, do a book out of it or something. Um, uh, and we were like, at least put an image which is not too high resolution, maybe, but at least when someone is looking, even a student looking for an image um, of how it might look, um, you even from a tourist perspective, maybe they would be more interested to come and see it live, but they know uh, what kind of image it is, you know, not just be the 
this is there's a painting about this thing mm -hmm. that by this artist. So most collection, even like after doing this, they were still a bit afraid, especially sharing uh, on comments mostly. I think. Yeah. Basically, financially, what kind of fears do they have? All fears. Okay. <laughs> especially when the collection is small. Fear of the unknown. Yeah, fear of the unknown. She said that that, that is better. Yeah, go on. I'm just thinking maybe mm -hmm. you have advice. I don't know. I don't know. The, uh, the executive director of Wikimedia UK um, used to work in the cultural mm -hmm. sector mm -hmm. and said that very often when they meet with institutions, that's the, that's the exact pushback yeah. that she gets and that's the main fear that's raised. Mm -hmm. She has a really good response to it. I just have no idea. I don't remember. <laughs> 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 no spoilers. I can't remember either, but I feel like it's um, the risk of not doing it is yeah. higher almost. Uh, it's because like nobody's coming to your museums anyway. Exactly. They don't know what's there. You're still not going to get any money if nobody visits. Yes, yes. That's very relevant. Okay. So we had, uh, they don't have resources, I think this is mm -hmm. a common uh, for everyone. Learning wiki on paper, for this is for government organizations. Uh, yeah, I, I wrote that. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, this was presumably the worst experience I've had. <laughs> uh, I went to, to a government organization that we have been working pretty well in the last few years. They're doing some very cool stuff and we thought, you know, we might expand because not, not just us taking stuff from them and reusing it, but actually involving them. And we said, look, we're going to do a presentation, we're going to teach you how to edit a little bit, you know, and we didn't say you need a laptop. So everybody showed up with their own little pen and paper <laughs> to learn how to edit Wikipedia. So obviously that turned out to be just a general discussion with no follow-up. <laughs> And from that point on, we are spelling it out. You need a laptop <laughs> or some kind of computer. Or at least a phone. But <laughs> it will be hard for you. This one is super interesting for me because of the Wikispore uh, mm -hmm. story. So knowledge they have doesn't fit into existing Wiki projects, especially Wikipedia. Who wrote this? I, yes, me, and I already spoke to it. So I think you know exactly yeah. what, what I mean. It's about the... Um, how especially like community groups, smaller mm -hmm. informal organizations, the sort of knowledge they have isn't so institutionalized mm -hmm. and so it often doesn't fit into wiki projects, the, especially the bigger ones like Wikispore is a bit different. Yeah. Yeah. Is anyone here who doesn't know what Wikispore is? Ah, so it's yes. Yeah, many. It's an yeah. experimental project that uh, Gergo mostly uh, technically set up and Richard from Wikimedia New York uh, kind of pushed as an idea. It's, it's a wiki where you experiment with new wiki forms of wiki making. So it's not fixed as encyclopedic format, it's not fixed as dictionary format or, or tourist guide format, but you can do your own formats. So it's like before the beta? Where you yes, yes, yeah. I think it's kind of better because it's already two and a half, three years. No, no but I mean, uh, there is the, the beta the, where you propose new wikis, the, the place where right. it's, it's not it's incubator to existing forms, it's incubator for new forms of making. Yeah, so, okay. so, so it's a bit different type of incubation. Mm -hmm. okay. It's only a life with the initiative by the foundation, innovate uh, in new forms of knowledge. Mm -hmm. okay. Because you present uh, the knowledge in the way you think uh, it fits the most. Yeah. So it doesn't need to be like uh, a paragraph of text or a video or an image. It can be everything. Are there any specific trends that have come out of that, of like new forms and formats that work well? I mean, there is visual uh, storytelling that was, I think, a really interesting uh, proposal. Uh, there's this thing I was saying about mapping civil society organizations. Mm -hmm. uh, there were few that were started, I'm not sure if they really took off, like there was one Geospore, there was... Yeah, yeah oral, history. spoken, like oral histories. Like, I think the oral history is just like starting uh, oral knowledge. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah so far nothing really took off, but also... No, no, the, the Australian one took off and got an academic article. Well, for some measure, yeah. But in, in, in general, we have very limited technical capacity, so I think we do not exclude anything intentionally. 
basically there is a page on Meta called Request for New Projects, which is extremely, extremely broken. Mm -hmm. It has <laughs> 500 proposals, and the last time anyone did anything about the proposal was 15 years ago or something. <laughs> uh, and, and the idea of the score is to replace that with some mechanism that actually works. Mm -hmm. So if, if there's enough <coughs> interest in something that requires new technology, then we would try. But uh, Realistically, as long as it's only one or two people, then I don't think we can build anything new. So uh, that's, that's the issue with our own knowledge and such things. I think Gerwig is also uh, a little bit more suspicious or what can be done with all technologies. Uh, I'm not. Because he knows uh, it's going to be his job. Uh, no, no, I'm super passionate about using what we already have. Uh, and, and few people, for example, who were doing stuff from different sides about civil society, now we finally came together and in November we'll do a first hackathon together. So four different approaches to like civil society mapping. Me doing contemporary organization, uh, Faros was interested in, in dead organizations that were historic. There, there is interest from Wikimedia Foundation uh, strategy team to map uh, civil well, initiatives in, in Wikimedia affiliates. And what was the fourth one? There was a fourth idea. Anyway, so I, I think it, it can be really granular, but it can also improve. Um, okay. I think we have like 25 minutes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I want to hear your learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you don't want to. No, no, please, let's. let's. We have only like four yeah, yeah, yeah. or five left. These, so these are covered. Ah, this, yes. So, aggressive editor responses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hard, hard to navigate the platforms and get info you need want. I think that was my first point. <laughs> uh, rigid rules can be exclusive. Resource stretch. Gatekeepers dealing with individuals who have a lot of power. I think everyone is aware of this. <laughs> okay. Then, um, Librarians, lots of curiosity, willing to follow the rules, lack of computer knowledge and fear. Yes, fear being the, yeah. the most significant obstacle mm -hmm. to collaboration. We actually got asked by the county libraries uh, whether they can write articles about subjects outside their country. Which I find is like, um, maybe you don't understand what the is, yeah. yes, but you know, you don't need permission, that's pretty clear. I think. Okay. And then we had afraid that the image of artwork on comments can be used in a way they don't approve. Mm -hmm. we, we addressed this. And the positive? There is one more. Uh, uh -huh. Context-specific knowledge, I guess, brings passionate people. <laughs> uh, this was a positive one. Uh -huh. And more willing to participate because they want to grow bigger and they are afraid of missing the opportunity. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now, sorry. May I add something to... Yeah, yes. Yeah. Sure. Uh, another factor that we must... Uh, I, uh, that's, I think I speak loud. Yes. Yeah? <laughs> so I suppose that everyone hears me. Another factor that we should uh, consider and has to do all, uh, uh, with two facts that were previously mentioned. mentioned. The one that uh, the um, institutions have to learn the policy and how the Wikipedia or the other um, wikis work. And second, uh, the fact that Kirin uh, mentioned about the um, uh, notability or suitability of the subject. It's that sometimes uh, the organizations themselves are not notable. So they expect to have uh, an article about the organization in the wiki. And here comes the awkward moment that uh, the, the institution uh, itself doesn't uh, meet uh, the notability criteria. And uh, becomes annoyed because uh, it thinks that, uh, uh, that uh, the partnership is not balanced. And you have to, uh, to explain um, again the policy, but it's more, uh, you think it's different to remove some subjects from the... the uh, I think this is more for bigger institutions because for organizations they kind of understand that they are on the edge anyway. Uh, so uh, it's, it's not such a shock that they are, when they hear, they are not notable enough. Uh, it's a shock for us who are rising. Sometimes, <laughs> not for all of them, but I have uh, faced uh, and you didn't introduce yourself up in video. Yes, okay. I'm a from this from from which meeting only please from the one should have Okay. Okay. We we have a similar uh, situation. Uh, situation. Just a quick example uh, from the other side. But actually 
the organization, civil society organization, oh, it's actually multiple <laughs> examples, but uh, the, there are notable. It's just that the wider community of editors mm -hmm. are not so familiar with the civil society organizations. So, oh, I haven't heard, I've never heard about this organization. They really are not, are they really notable. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, it takes sometimes extra effort to, to prove that actually it's not just the number of uh, references that we have uh, from different media, but that this organization really is credible and yeah. Yeah, I won't talk about Croatian misery, but uh, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I mean, we literally had person blocking uh, official agency for, for of, of the state for uh, women's rights because it was overly feminist. It was agency of the state. <laughs> yeah, are you going to show anything? Yes, or uh, not? Uh, can I take the microphone? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, the learnings, because... Uh, our project is still in the process, um, we still haven't finished it, so uh, this is from my perspective, and as I said, I'm, oh, sorry. Uh, I'm a newcomer, so uh, bear with me, please. So the first thing is the ecosystem is huge, uh, and it's very, very hard to find my way around it. Um, so it took me a long time to understand what is commons, what is data, what is Wikispore? So it's, it, it is very complicated and also the information is extremely hard to find. It is everywhere, but it is not very structured. Yeah. So uh, I cannot imagine working in this project without Jacob, and I think this is a huge mind because it should be... Wh where should I stand? It's microphone. Uh, like, I, I think there should be a way uh, to make this more... Uh, what is, how do you call it? Um, more friendly to the user because the all the information is there but the pathways don't work we don't know we i think you spend a huge amount of ta time just navigating us how to get to this file how to get to information and even when i remember that i've accessed some information once i have no idea how to and then and i will come to the next problem which makes it even worse and harder but okay so this is my first point Second point that, uh, and I already mentioned this. So, for example, I'm writing, I'm writing an article about uh, community art, uh, or, or, or about a festi uh, um, about a small non-profit organization in a smaller town in Croatia, and then I find out that there is no article for community. So my priorities shift, mm -hmm. and I have to go to the higher level to create a very basic things like community or collaboration, and so on, participation, and so on. I don't know how to do this. This this is this is this has been like how we I think I think in the future projects we have to uh, take a certain amount of time and training to teach people how to do this. We cannot expect that we will straight away learn how to write in style that is appropriate for Wikipedia. So this has been a process and this has costed us a lot and a lot of time and a lot of nerves because we don't know how to do this. So the well, this was, this was uh, I mean, a lot of work was saved, but like the first uh, impulse of administrators is delete. And then if you have someone who is annoying like me, then I ask for them to undelete stuff and actually have discussions and actually move it to drafts. Like some wikis don't want to have drafts articles at all because they've heard that in some Wikipedias there are thousands of draft articles and it's a nightmare. <laughs> I mean, it is, it is. No, I, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with it. I agree with the, the but, other part. But, but what is the worst thing that could happen with thousand draft articles? The worst case that could happen is that the media and the, the, the society in general will take that, these as uh, real articles. But I do have a solution for you there. There is an extension that allows every user to have their own draft page in their user space. But the and problem is, is that much then people think, oh, this is this one person doing this one article and they don't want to engage. If it's in draft yes. space, then other people can interact and feel more open. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's okay, just this one. Is a topic for another Let, let's not yes. uh, lose time. <laughs> uh, organizations and motivation. This has been a huge issue for us, and uh, also I want to explain a little bit about the context. So, uh, this network is 20 years old now which means that people who run it are now in their 40s and 50s and they work in Croatian civil society, which means they are not rich, 
They're probably thinking about settling down. They might have children or have given up on it. Have but had some burnouts. Or have had a lot of burnouts, and uh, in a lot of cases, there has, hasn't been a change of generations yet. So there is not a lot of young, active people in the organizations, or they do not have the resources. And it has been, I think, very hard to explain to them what they will gain from this, and they have not been motivated to contribute. So it has been kind of a desperate uh, pulling and pushing for, for them. And if you have a young generation, then you have generation that was raised on Instagram that almost has no links. Like this, the whole Instagram model was like, there is one link at the top of it, and that's it. So this whole idea of doing network visibility and then like granular building doesn't work. Okay. And supporting uh, each other. Now, because this is a very specific, so the way that this network works uh, and its grand system is that it, uh, uh, it was made to decentralize cultural programs in Croatia so that they would get out of Zagreb because basically 95% of our culture and especially independent culture is, is centered in Zagreb. So their idea is to grant projects that would make small organizations, especially from the peripheries, collaborate together and make tours and things like this. We have had a problem. Uh, but, yeah, but then you have a problem in peripheries, you have almost no media. Like if you have a media that reports from like third biggest creation city, it's only reporting the announcement. You have no yes. like cultural criticism, review, or any of those things. Which makes it more marginal, yes. And yeah. also we have had a problem how to, how, how to classify these things, how to classify these programs, how to classify these tours, because also, as you mentioned, uh, the, different, the different organizational structures in different uh, Wikimedia ecosystems make it very hard for us to actually insert these into the system and finally we had for together. example a situation where we wanted to map projects uh, in Wikidata and we were I mean projects in themselves have visibility but we are not sure if it makes sense anymore uh, we would maybe put uh, projects on Wikispore and just connect Wikidata of organizations and names or maybe run our own instance of Wikibase to be able to be more free in how we describe. Because if we started uh, modeling uh, in Wikidata, what could be the, the descriptors for networks of cultural organizations? We have this project. I mean, A, no one joined us. Uh, when we asked for queries, like one query was a little bit discussed, the other was totally ignored. And so this model of just like, <coughs> trying to do yourself a new model of, of mapping information is broken. Like, you can get lucky, you can have uh, like a Rhizome or one of these big organizations who are well positioned in the cultural field that they establish a new model, but if you do it with less resources, forget it, this is not going to happen. Communication system. Um, I just illustrated this. I opened the Telegram page, the Meta page, the Movement Strategy Forum, the Wikidata page, and the uh, chat that we are using. I have no idea which which information is where. I have no idea when when Jelko tells me I sent you a link. I'm like, oh shit! I need 20 minutes to open all of these channels and to scroll up a lot of times, or to go back in history to find what is where. Uh, I really think it's maybe would be nice to kind of <laughs> like compress a little bit uh, because because it is very, very hard. And especially if you're a new person, I'm a very determined person. But most of my friends are not. And if they joined this project, they would have already given up. So out of time. Photo licenses, hard. <laughs> hard, hard, hard. I mean, the, the luckiest thing we got is that uh, Clubture uh, 15 years ago had a spin-off project, which is a media portal called Kulturpunkt that actually publishes a lot on this uh, uh, field, even critical text, uh, interviews, uh, podcasts, all kinds of things, and they use Creative Commons license. So there is like one source, but if you do it on Croatian Wikipedia, they say, ah, this is this leftist website. And it's like, of course it's leftist because it's the only thing that like can do um, alternative culture. But also to attract to, to attract people and organizations, if you don't have visual content, it's not attractive. Yeah. So this is a circle that, um, yes. Yeah. And, and uh, I think this is the last slide. And I just want to say, because our scope was limited. We are limited on one network that was started 20 years ago. Most of its members have been members for a 
long time, there hasn't been much many new ones, and also the lack of available information or when they do a program in a small town, there is no media that somebody who is an administrator at Croatian Wikipedia finds find relevant, which makes it look like we are promoting something yeah. for look, our own problems. We basically look like underdogs who are pushing for like super invisible uh, uh, organizations to show up in Wikipedia. And we are totally different, like uh, uh, Club Chair Network, was the model that was replicated on regional network that was actually having this kind of conference two weeks ago here in Ohrid. It's called Cooperativa, that is like ex-Yugoslav network. It's like super prominent, like people in, in uh, cultural circles uh, invite culture as like case study of like good model, good practice. Uh, like person who was founder, what, literally got an award from, I don't know, the, the European Cultural Foundation uh, Award for Cultural uh, Development. So it, it's kind of bizarre how just the, the perspective shifts whether you are like an admin who is fan of football and like techie things and doesn't know anything about civil sector, or you are someone who is in civil sector and wants to approach uh, Wikimedia as a potential content donor uh, activist. The things we, we did learn and that were like very positive is that, for example, uh, in Wikidata we were rather successful. We had like almost no deletions, like really, really minor things. We were lucky with bots doing a lot of stuff we were messy with. Like we, we had uh, all of the social media mapped ourselves at the very beginning of the project. So like six months later now we know what is the social media visibility of all the organizations of the network. And if, if we would have someone who is like a researcher in this field, we would actually have really good information to give as like basis information. And in two years this could be like someone's, you know, master thesis or, or even PhD. Uh, the other thing that was really positive is that we used commons uh, relatively automatically because we, we could get all the logos, we could get some of the uh, project reports, photos. Automatically we, we started using OpenRefine and we were kind of, yeah, they only got uh, <coughs> image uploads this summer, so it was like during our break that, that uh, we, we kind of missed the, the, the best momentum. But we still hope to kind of advance this in, in, in follow-up work. Um, and the thing that uh, kind of made us uh, think that this makes sense to continue is that few individual organizations uh, thought, okay, this makes sense to use uh, in our own work. So we were invited to, there is this Glitch Aesthetics Festival for the second time to do things with Wikimedia. Uh, there is, um, uh, Hekla in, in Zagreb uh, who produced one of the educational videos in, in one of the workshops uh, Multimedia Institute with whom I was uh, historically involved um, uh, wants to map their own archive there is an uh, archive of independent uh, documentation center for independent culture that wants to do something on MediaWiki as a platform because the website they do is kind of relic and stuff like this. Uh, what we are missing and where, where we would love to, to, to get um, support, inputs, uh, is basically how to do a better kind of methodological approach uh, in, in, in making more use of Wikidata. Uh, I think this is where we still have like a learning curve to, to, to uh, make the most of it, to, to, to kind of correlate information that's already there with stuff we entered. And the second thing is, is how to make um, this kind of work uh, exemplary to others that could be allies. For example, uh, this idea of network culture that was super prominent in, in early 2000, when a lot of these networks of cultural organizations were popping up, uh, I think it's still totally untapped. Like, we deal a lot with big organizations, we deal a lot with big uh, collections, with big, big content donors, but these kind of networks are still undercover. Like, when we were doing our research, we were looking, let's check 
one of the biggest uh, European networks of uh, uh, spaces who were former industrial spaces turned to cultural spaces. It's called uh, European Halles, uh, Tech, Tech, Trans European Halles. It's based in, in uh, Sweden. Sweden has amazing glam people. They must have mapped this amazingly. Please check that wiki, wiki data entry. It's like they didn't have a good uh, wiki page. They tried something themselves, they failed. <coughs> like none of these organizations are, are mapped. So we were a little bit, wow, this doesn't even work in, in like developed countries where you would expect things to be much better. Uh, I would love if uh, people who are from Wikimedia Foundation could echo this to the inner circles that we as non-profit uh, movement should care about non-profits more uh, and not rely only on like big institutions, sensitivity for others um, and, and kind of try to do uh, more in this field. Uh, we would love to use uh, a forum more in the future and, and uh, report when we actually finish the project in uh, two weeks. We'll probably publish a report uh, in English so, so you can uh, check it out. Uh, we will try to do some visualizations of the stuff we did, but we are also not informed what is the best way to present this as, as a topic. Like, I don't know what is the forum. Uh, I mean, I'm part of uh, Wikimedians in Residence Network and I feel like I'm one of the two or three people who is interested in not huge institutions. And I understand most of them are Americans, it's a matter of scale, uh, but yeah, there is no like European discourse or, or central European discourse that we could maybe uh, establish. So, uh, are there any open questions that we could still try to, because we are out of time technically, but we, we will uh, follow up on the forum page. Uh, I think the recording will be not super useful to many of these things, but for some uh, like reference it's, it's maybe useful to check that out later. Uh, if you are using Wikidata, please check out the wiki project we were mentioning. Uh, if you think you want to work something in this uh, sector, get in touch. Uh, we have some ideas what to do in the next three to six months, but since we are a new team, we don't know even how we will re reconfigure and stick together in next uh, year. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>